Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be racing the long course at Summerhall Club Champs. about a 60 minute race not sure how many laps we're gonna do but it's quite a long course so be pretty fun we'll see how this giant rain goes for our XC race I've pumped up the shocks a bit and the tire pressure just about about 25 front and rear I think and PSI and my suspension just so it's like a 25 cent sag so it's a bit stiffer than usual but nothing too crazy because I still want something I'm used to but out of shape because it is winter haven't been riding that much just like once a week I might head out and do maybe half of a lap or something now just to get warmed up and then we'll get ready for the race in about half an hour <music> Alright, so this is the start of the Club Champs XC Long Course. This is going to be about a three lap race. Didn't get off to the best start, I was kind of turned up a bit late because I was getting the GoPro ready and stuff, but decided to ease off on the start and try to gain some early positions. So the start we go straight into this climb, try to pick off a few riders, go out into this paddock section, just to thin out the riders before you go onto the single track. And then dropping in here, this is where you get the first rest of the course. Already so knackered. Get to flow down through here, off the brakes, just cruising. So I am on a full enduro bike with 170 mm forks on the front, 160 mm travel on the back. The bike is full 29er, so that helped a little, but overall I just had way too much suspension for this type of racing. This is where the bike really shined, just through the more flowy stuff. I could just stay off the brakes and just let the bike ride. It was the only time I could really get a rest. So I'd go for an overtake here. I was feeling pretty good on this first lap, but we already had a short course and eliminator races earlier this day. So now we're into this really slippery section through the woods. Best thing you could do is just try not to pedal too much because you end up just sliding the back wheel. The bike handled this bit real easy really balanced bit of a pinchy climb at the end so I am going through a full course with you guys just speeding up some of the climbs and stuff here we are dropping into another little downhill I just decided to go straight over the roots there since I got the full enduro bike pedal down through here and then we're setting up for the climb this one's quite a nasty climb. Just easing my way up, trying to save something for the rest of the lap. Into this fun little jump section. And then this is one of the steeper bits of the course that you really had to drop down your gears early, put the seat right up and just 
try to crank your way through around these turns. Super punchy. And then the climb didn't stop there, it just keep going all the way up through this grassy bit. This is just so hard. And then finally got another rest here where you could just drop in, no brakes, at this little A line. Save a bit of time. I was so knackered. This is probably about halfway through the lap as well. Now we're going into the summer hall jump section. And we get another little rest spot. We drop into this little jump track. So I usually make up a lot of time through here, but I was so tired by the time I got here that I was just trying to recover. Just trying not to pedal, just let the arms do the work instead of the legs. Try to pump through. So knackered. At least the course was running really good. Good weather all day, so that helped a lot with the racing. Little zigzags back to the top. More climbing. More climbing up to the top. Another little rest down here, and then this was the longest climb all the way back up to the start finish line. This is where it was just super gnarly. This is where the bike really wasn't the best option because just not set up right. Could have had the handlebars drop more. The seat should have been a little higher. Got to hop through there pretty quick. Then I decided to send it out of the shed. On the first lap, I was feeling alright, but I knew I still had two more laps to go, which ended up bringing the race to about an hour, but over an hour. So yeah, that was one full lap of the Summer Hall Club Champs XC long course. Now I'm just trying to get through the next couple laps, just try to hold my position because all these points go towards the overall Club Champs, so and, uh, That's why I ended up doing all these events just to see where I am, get a good benchmark, every time I stand up, uh, and then try to better myself next year. We still have the enduro race, which is the following day, so just trying to save something for that. It's coming to the end of the second lap. Dropped a few positions on this lap, just didn't have anything on the climbs. Not enough recovery, I was really struggling out there. One of the biggest days riding I've had on this bike definitely and just didn't have much for it. This bit out in the paddock was super hard as well, just so much pedaling. So this is on the final lap and we're just cruising through, just trying to make to the finish, recover as much as we can on those flowing bits, but I was super knackered by now and you can see in this next section, I this guy in front started to slow down too much, I thought oh maybe if I just hold it back a bit I'll be able to make it and then front wheel caught the roots and I went down, so that kind of messed me up for the last lap my seat got all twisted and I think it dropped down lower when I tried to twist it back so it means I had less pedaling so I was a bit annoyed with that pretty gnarly little shoot here and then get to drop onto the bridge and then back into another climb it was just so much climbing compared to the descending rest, so this definitely wasn't my style of race. The climbs were a lot longer than I like, and just couldn't get into a rhythm. These pinchy little climbs I'm a bit better at, because I can kind of get crank up a couple gears, go through, but this bit right here, this is where I started to get lapped by the leaders. 
and I still had this massive climb. I was pretty much in the highest gear, just ticking away. Legs were cramping up a lot. Just wasn't used to doing this much riding all in one day. Boosting down through this bit. Anything I can do to get a bit of recovery and just flow through the course. And climbing back up to the jumps. Not much I could do on this to bring back any positions, just trying to make it through. Couldn't even jump the little tabletops. It's just that tired. Flowing through here, onto the last corner, and then I'll try to make my way to the finish without getting passed by anyone else. But this is one of the hardest races I've ever done, and this bike definitely made it a little bit harder not being set up for XC. Right. So we finished the XC long course, one of the hardest races I've ever done. Legs were cramping. Got off to an alright start, pumping through, thought I was actually feeling pretty good. And then as soon as we started climbing, legs just started to tense up, tighten up, and it was all over. Lungs were okay for most of it, but as soon as I tried to push it with the legs on standing up or trying to sit down weirdly, and it just cramped up and ended up having to pull over for a couple minutes near the end, do a quick stretch. But we managed the three big laps. Not sure what place we got or anything, but it's all good. I'm trying to recover now because we still got the Enduro tomorrow, which is the main event that I've been looking forward to. These ones are just kind of the, to get the overall, you got to do all the events. So might as well tick them all off. That's another one done. And then we got prize giving later on and hopefully we'll get some prizes or something. It'll be pretty sick. Might have something to eat, something to drink, check over the bike. Seemed pretty good. Not a bad event. Right, so this race is after all the XEs and the short course and everything. Had, this is the race I just gave everything I had left. I was on the outside so I didn't get a good corner position. Try to latch onto the guy in front, but this race is only for 9th through to 12th, so there's only a few points on the line for the overall. But just decided to give it everything I had for the last race of the day. But it was only about an hour and a bit recovery after the cross country long course, so just not enough time to recover. Try to stay with them, tuck in on this corner, see if I can make a push for the, on this last straight, on this climb. But legs were cramping up hectically tried to make a push for that second place but just not close enough made a little charge here in the last bit of the lap trying to see if I can make up any time on the go in front but it's just a bit too far back by now Last couple of corners. And then try mounted charge through, but legs were just done. And that was the end of the riding for the club champs day one. <laughs> one of the hardest days in the saddle. All right, so that last race you saw me do was the eliminator kind of like the 12th through to 8th place so tried super hard to try <laughs> get at least second but the legs just cramped up around the back ended up getting third in that race which I think put me 11th overall and I qualified 11th so kind of just slotted in where I wanted or where I went so after that we had prize giving ended up first in my category for being the only rider so the 1929 open which is a pretty tough class you either once you go over 19, you either go pro or you kind of give up cycling. So at least we're out here trying to give them some entries. That was pretty much it. Got some chain lube for a spot prize and then $30 voucher, so it's pretty cool. 
and that'll be it for this video and we're I'm actually gearing up now to go for an enduro today but it is raining but I'll start that video after this one so I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like comment subscribe and I'll see you in the next one